What's going on, YouTube? This is Trying Our Caller, and you're about to watch a Wi Fi battle video. That's right, a Wi Fi battle video. I haven't done this in like forever. Um, it's good to be back posting Wi Fi battles. Um, I am posting ICL matches and other Shogun matches where I was for the longest while there until my DS is fixed. And, um, yeah, you're going to see me trying to get back to the style of battling here on over Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm using a random team this battle against a passerby. We're going to start out with McLaren here. McLaren is, of course, a Selgor, and a Selgor has the unique move of me first, which will hit if you go first, uh, that is, and we hit the Togekiss with its own ancient power, I expected him to just roost off the damage, so I went for spikes on that next turn, and then we can go with another ancient power to put it back at that same range of HP, and that means that, well, I do lose the Quarren, but at the same time, I do have some spikes up, and I put some damage onto the Togekiss. So I go into Grosselisk, and I double back, going to Kalios, the Arcanine, which you guys probably know this Arcanine from way back when. I actually was expecting him to switch out into his Gligar, expecting a electric type move, which that didn't work out too well, did it? Because my Arcanine is now paralyzed, and I take a lot of recoil because I go with a wild charge. That was an awesome turn of events. Not really, but you know, it's fine. I'm still rusty. I'll continue making better plays in the near future. Um, so anyways, so here's Gligar, like I was talking about, and I knew he was going to set up Stealth Ox because that's what Gligar would normally do. And Dragology, I was using it in my last Wi-Fi battle from like early Feb February, and I didn't play it very well, so we'll see how this goes. Silva, the Dragology, um, he gets paralyzed a few times, but, like, I have Toxic Spikes, Draco Meteor, Sludge Wave, and Focus Blast. So I go with the Draco Meteor just to put some damage onto this Zapdos, and holy crap, we almost take him out from full HP, which is amazing, uh, but... Now my special attack is lowered, and it's possible that he does have roost. Wow, that is such a great sentence. It's possible that he might have roost, and he does reveal it here. I just go for a sludge wave trying to finish off the Zapdos, but I guess getting the poison is better than nothing, uh, besides the damage output that we got from the minus two uh, modifier from the special attack drop from the Draco Meteor. Ah, uh, so... That's fine. Now he continues to go with Roost. I expected that. So we're going to go with a couple of more Toxic Spikes this time. So we have Spikes and Toxic Spikes, which is great for revenge killing uh, with like Arcanine, but of course Arcanine is at low health and it will die to Stealth Ox. So all that is a little unfortunate. Here is Caesar as. I try going for another Sludge Wave, but I get paralyzed, so that doesn't matter. Um, here, I I figure he might go the Sword Snacks, expecting me to switch out. And I expected that to be the case, but I get paralyzed again. Which, yeah, see, Dragology is a fun Pokemon to use competitively, but when you get paralyzed a lot, you're... Usefulness has to its course when you get paralyzed and it's like you're at low health already and it's like, gosh darn it. Now I can bring in my Mega Lopunny, Mega Evolve here and go the Fake Out because why not, right? It's just a little bit of ship damage. It's not going to end up mattering in the long run, but you know, it's something. And I figured I could take a Bullet Punch at plus two, but Lopunny's defense is so frail, so we lose a lot of money. Not a big deal there. I go with a, like, a standard set, so it's not really bulky, but, you know. Uh, here I go with a flamethrower. He really should have gone for a bullet punch, because I am assault-fested, a lot more specially 
defensive than physically defensive on this grass list. And, uh, well, I mean, it will not matter. You just see just how bulky the grass list is, my Electros, when this mega Alakazam goes with the Psychic. This is with the Assault Vest. That does okay damage, but it would have been a lot more if I didn't have the Assault Vest. Uh, so we see the Alakazam get poisoned, which is awesome. That means that as long as I would is cut short, um, Alakazam actually destroys my entire team. So at this point, I'm like, okay, he probably has Shadow Ball to hit Astron the Starmie with. And I was right, uh, which that means Starmie isn't going to do anything. And that means my only, my last Pokemon is actually Arcanine. Can you believe it? Yeah, uh, but we get a double down, which is fine. I'm back to Wi-Fi battling, guys. We're going to get back to those double downs. And uh, on that double down, I go, I go down on the following turn because of the self ass against Gligar, and we lose the match 3-0. But you know what? I'm finally back to posting Wi-Fi battles, and gosh darn it, if I'm rusty and if I'm going to continue Wi-Fi battling, the least I can do is just post something because I like posting Wi-Fi battles. Uh, Showdown is great and all, but I, for some reason, don't like Showdown as much because of its crazy mechanics and RNG shenanigans, because like hats and getting paralyzed over and over. If you saw my last video, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, guys, so I'm, yeah, I'm back to posting Wi-Fi wi battling and, uh, Wow, I'm back to posting Wi-Fi battles. Awesome. I will hopefully find some more and I'll post some when I have the chance to do it. All right, have a great day, everybody. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, guys.